Hey kids, once again it's John again with one of his cooking vlogs. Today, duck legs. I bought these at uh, St. Lawrence Market a week ago. Here's the sign that I love. And here's me. Uh, I fell asleep. Uh, it's Monday. Let's see, let's prove it. It's Easter Monday. It's that one. Oh, right there. Okay. Easter Monday, uh, April 13th. And the time is 20 after midnight. Uh, now, the reason I'm doing this uh, cooking vlog, by the way, I gotta take a quick time out. These are my candles. This is kind of like a general vlog. This music that we're listening to is my cousin Louie. If I had the album cover, I would show it to you. It's somewhere. I'm looking. I'm looking. I found it. <laughs> God. This is Louis music recorded at Sharon's apartment, New Year's Eve, 1976. So my cousin is a musician. Uh, he just gave me this burn CD. So this is kind of cool. This is from 1976. I believe what he's playing now is a composition of uh, his sister's uh, and my cousin Diane's music. And um, it's a shot of my candles. I always like doing candles like this. So anyways, I've been uh, a little sleep deprived these days. And I just woke up at midnight. I passed out after dinner after my uh, amazing uh, fat bastard burrito. Uh, burrito bowl. I love that stuff. Okay, so anyways, uh, these are Moulard duck legs from Quebec. Okay, I got them a week ago. They're still good. They last a long because they're vacuum sealed. I've seasoned it with uh, sea salt. And we got the uh, oh God. star anise. I crushed that up. So I'm going to stick that in the oven and we're going to bake this at low. Okay. And basically, I'm gonna, I'll be going to bed around 1 o'clock. And the way I'm going to cook this, I'm actually going to cook this overnight uh, in my oven. And by the time I wake up, they'll be done. So it's kind of like a way of uh, doing a, a play on being a slow cooker, which I actually have. Of course, a slow cooker, you're not going to be roasting and stuff. That's more for like braising and, and stews and stuff like that. Now, I'm also going to start preparing something called Cipollini onions. I got some duck fat that I got from, I think, a Longbows. They sell this. And this stuff is really cool. It's great to cook in. I don't need the, cook, uh, the duck legs with it. But it's great for cooking vegetables in it. And uh, stuff like that. And, uh, okay, I'm getting a little long-winded. Okay, so basically I'm going to stick these in the oven. And literally, uh, in a few hours, say, because I'm going to lower the heat. It's at 450 now. When I go to bed around 1 o'clock, I'm going to lower that heat to, say... 300 degrees, 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'll be getting up around 4.30 to 5, as is my habit in this uh, <laughs> new lifestyle of uh, getting up early, and uh, yeah, and, you'll, and we'll come back and see that, and also in the end of this video, I'll be using some orange, so this will be kind of like duck alla orange with uh, star anise seasoning. So I don't really have a title for it yet, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna plop this in the oven. Now when I when I roast meats uh, for a long time, I like to put it on the bottom rack. I'm not, really, I'm not really sure why. I think someone told me to put it on the bottom rack. So I brewed the other rack, right? So there it goes in there. And that's it, kids. And I'm gonna show you, um, I'll probably come back and show you what I'm gonna do with these Cipollinis. Uh, they're really nice. If I had more duck fat, I'd actually poach these guys on the stove top. And I'm actually going to do that uh, with the limited amount of fat I need. I need more fat to poach because you can do something called... Um, so I worked in French restaurants and we did something called confit of anything. You could do confit duck. That's basically poaching uh, whatever it is in a fat. Confit of duck would be uh, poaching the uh, duck like simmering it in fat, like probably on a stove top on a large pot in duck fat. But you can also do confit of vegetables, which we used to do quite a lot of. And you'll put vegetables in a pot, like this pot. <laughs> but 
I'm going to use a better pot because it's going to work my pot with a better bottom than this pot. And we're going to put some of those onions in there, obviously with the skin peeled. Or you could actually, actually chicken leaves are kind of interesting. You could actually probably cook them in the skins, but uh, that's really rustic. We're, we're going to get that rustic. And we're going to put some fat in there and we're going to gently simmer this on the stove top overnight. And I'm going to show you how to do that when, I'm be, when I'll be back, okay? So, coming back in John's kitchen. And you damn right, I like to fry. Yahoo. Okay, kids, we're back. We've got our peeled cipollini onions. We've got our duck fat. We've got our frying pan because we're gonna saute them lightly. And we've got a messy sink where we peel the onions. We've got a few extra cipollini onions because we're gonna poach these, hopefully, in this pod. And these are too big. Uh, well, basically, I don't have enough fat. <laughs> So when you don't have enough fat, you lose less vegetable because I realized I should have got two of these. I only got one, so I can't do, I can't do a proper confit. But we're gonna do the best we can. I guess I should look in the camera instead of looking at the floor. We will, oh my God, it's so late. <laughs> okay, so, um, I'm gonna try and do something new here. I'm gonna use my broken tripod and you're gonna watch me fry if this doesn't um, fall. Now the only problem with this tripod, it sometimes has the habit of like, it's steady now, but sometimes it will just like move. <laughs> like, boom. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so, yeah, so I'm off camera now. I'm gonna heat that frying pan up. While we're waiting for that frying pan to heat up, we're going to come over to the window. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little tired here. I passed out at like literally 7 o'clock after I ate my burrito bowl. And I literally woke up at midnight. So it's going to be an interesting night. Yeah, see, see that's how it moves. See how it just moved? It just sort of did that jerky motion. I know. I will be getting a new one. Well, soon. Anyways. So this is my balcony, and oh god, it's beautiful. It was too windy today when I came out of work, it's still windy. And it's just, uh, it's nice to get some air. Gee, let's keep this window, let's keep this door open. I'm about to do some frying. Actually, let's go back and fry some onions. <laughs> Cipollini onions, to be specific. Now, Cipollinis are kind of cool. Because they're very, they cook very quickly. Get a spoon. Yes, I'm off camera. Okay, but watch this. Here's the duck fat. Yeah, baby. Woo! This is amazing to cook with, by the way. Right? So initially, I'm going to heat a little bit. I don't need it that high. Uh, so initially, what we're going to do is we're going to get a little color on these guys on the Cipollini onions. And then we're gonna take all this duck fat, all this duck fat here, and put it in that small pot. And we'll poach them on the stove top, okay? So let's, but let's start. My duck is starting to smell really nice. It's, um, uh, I can smell the star anise. Star anise is amazing to cook. That's one of the spices that really marries uh, with duck, star anise. Okay, that, that's crushed up stuff. And I'll, I'll show you the story about this. This tripod is broken, so it's gonna get a little jerky sometimes, but we'll, we'll try it for now. Okay, so, get that hot. You wanna wait till it smokes before you put your vegetable on there. I think it's all fine at all. I'll be sure we now, Cipollini, in general, cook very quickly. So really, what I'm going here, uh, going for here is I just want to get a little color on it, and that's it. And then, I'm going to transfer them to this little pot with more duck fat, and we'll poach them with the remaining duck fat. So this duck fat is going to go into that pot, 
because I fry these guys, I put the duck out in the pot right now. So if you were to Google uh, confit, that's C-O-N-F-I-T, of anything, it's cooking something in fat, I believe is the term. And that's kind of it. You got a pot. You only want to lightly color it. I don't, I'm not going for, so I'm lowering the heat. No. And these onions are really beautiful. They, they cook very quickly and they become very tender very quickly too. Now there's the fat in the, in the pot. I'm gonna put that on the heat. And we're gonna cook, and overnight, literally in the span of a few hours, we're gonna cook that on the stove top, just like we're cooking a duck. Oh, well, okay. Start with the camera. So I've got the I've got the duck fat there in the pot. Tripolinis are slowly. Things. I've got it at medium heat. I just want to do this fully. You don't want to do this at high heat because otherwise you obviously burn them. <laughs> and we don't like burning things. We like frying things. <laughs> See, it's my kitchen. I'll fry if I want to. But I don't want to burn. That's why moderate heat. Take it slowly. Take your time. If you've got a cousin who's got a mixed tape, put that on. If you don't have a cousin who's got a mixtape, put something else on. I can't put on other music because apparently YouTube goes, Hey, that's a copyright infringement. And they take my video down. So you're getting Louis from all these 1976 New Year's Eve tape. There goes my, there goes, see that? See that? Look at that. Look at that. That's why my tripod is broken. See? This is a handheld. <laughs> I'm shaking it purposely. Okay. Okay, so literally, I'm gonna take this off the heat now, okay? So, all I wanted to do really was just get a little color. Uh, and, the, and the simple reason I'm saying that is because if I don't get a little color on these guys, um, they look kind of boring, you know? Uh, because it's, it's kind of like, uh, you know, color is always nice, just for the simple reason. It just adds flavor, there's a little caramelization. I'll heat them up a little more, okay? And uh, it's been a while. I'm just gonna season this with a little salt. Okay. There's my hand. There's the salt. Woo! If I was ever a Lagasse, I'd go bam, bam, bam. But I'm not Emerald Lagasse, so I just do John Thomas. I do sprinkle. Oh, one bam, bam, bam. He's fun. I love Emerald. I haven't seen him in years, but I don't have TV anymore. Okay, so now, uh, what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna start, I'm gonna see how many onions, sorry about that, sorry about my thumb, I'm gonna see how many onions fit in this pot of confit of uh, the duck fat. Now, like I said, I should've got more duck fat and then I could have done this properly, but uh, I didn't realize I needed more. So next time I do this, I guess I'll get more, okay? Uh, let's put the tripod down. We're going for it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's do the transfer action. We are now transferring the Cipollini into the duck fat. And let's see when it'll fit. That fits, that fits. We're gonna put the smaller ones in. Small Cipollini. The big ones might not fit because what you want to do is you want to make sure all your vegetable for confit is covered. And these two and these three guys here will not fit. So we'll save those for later. Okay. And these guys do fit. So what we're gonna do, these will cook overnight. Okay. And I would say we'll cook them for Ah, for fun, we'll say we'll cook them for three hours. Because in cooking, there are no rules, okay? Well, there are rules, uh, but but as a chef, the difference between uh, being a chef or uh, a home cook is basically you can sort of like wing it, but you have to follow some principles. This is a principle of uh, slowly roasting 
onions in this case, so you can do vegetables if you want to, you can do carrots, you can do a lot of different things, and that fat, in this, in this case, duck fat, okay? So it will simmer on the stove top, put it on the back element. Actually, I think I can fit one more onion in there, right? What do you think, John? Uh oh, John Meyer's in the background. I love John Meyer. YouTube. Oh my God. Uh, okay, that's be that's that's before he was famous. John Meyer, I love you. Please don't take my video down because I played you. Okay, I love you. Okay, don't take take don't take the video down. My God. Okay, I can actually fit. Maybe I can put them all in here. That sort of fits. No. I can only fit one more. Yeah, okay, so these two won't fit because I don't have enough fat. Okay, so uh, if, you're, if you're noticing, that's starting to bubble, and that's literally all you want it to do. So it's kind of like uh, you're literally going to simmer it in fat, and uh, so, and how do you know it's simmering? It's bubbling, okay? And that's it. So our duck legs are in the oven. It's now almost one o'clock, okay? So what's gonna happen, uh, I'm gonna wash a few things, get ready uh, for tomorrow's work day, uh, just do some stuff that I have to do, organize uh, my clothing and stuff like that. And then by 1 a.m., I'm gonna lower the oven temperature to, let's see what I'm gonna do. We'll do, um, for fun, we'll do 250 degrees, okay? That way, it'll really lightly, lightly roast. You can, you can, you can cook meats at a low temperature. They just take longer. Um, so I've, I've heard of, I've never done this, but you can actually, uh, the best way of making, say, a roast beef, if you're to get a prime rim roast, is get some color on it, you know, coat it with uh, your oil, salt and pepper, get a little color, put it on a high heat for an hour, and then reduce your heat to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and let's just let it sit there for hours and hours, six hours, eight hours, and it and it'll cook really slowly, and it'll cook, and it'll become really tender and moist because it's because of the low temperature, and it's the same for any meat, okay, and um, and that's just my experience of uh, baking a lot of stuff over the years, and uh, that's it. So it's 1 a.m., almost 1 a.m. I'm gonna get up around five. So these are going to sit here for about uh, four hours in this fat, and this is going to be really a low heat, okay? And it's just smartly bubbling, and that's it. And all that's in there is um, salt uh, and the duck fat and the Tripolini onions. Now, if I wanted to, I could get all kind of chefy and add a little flavoring. And what I'm going to add just for fun, is star anise. Star anise, that's what star anise looks like. Okay. Star anise and duck are, are really match. So let's plop that in. So we're gonna flavor our fat with a star anise. Put one in there. And just for luck, for fun, we'll put two. So I'm just kind of like, hey, little flavor. And that's it. Uh, so when we come back in, I guess about four hours time, it's, uh, 10 to one. So when we come back at 5 AM, you'll see what the duck legs look like and you'll see what the chipolini, well, the chipolini onions will basically look like this, except, uh, they'll actually be cooked right through. They're still raw right now, <laughs> but you'll appreciate the duck a little more. And, um, and then as the morning goes on, I'll cut up some uh, oranges. I've got blood oranges more in the fridge. And we'll put that over the duck leg and we'll call it a day. Okay. And uh, that's it. And you don't have to add any water in there uh, to the roasting. You can take a quick look at it, how they're doing. <sighs> okay. So they're starting to fry like that. They're starting to bake like that. And I'm going to lower the heat. Actually, I'll probably lower the heat now. Because <clears throat> I don't, I'm not really looking for color. Okay, I'm not looking for color, so let's lower that heat now. Okay, I lied, so we'll lower it to 250 now. And they're going to just gently, gently uh, dry roast in their own fat. Because uh, it's dry heat, but there's so much fat in there, uh, they won't dry out. Because that's the, the nice thing about duck, is they're just loaded with fat. So that's it for this, uh, this edition. 
Now, uh, I might try out my video editor where I actually, because I can't keep this camera on for four hours. Um, so I'm either going to do this will be part one or I'll go the extra mile. I'll edit all this and I'll edit part one and part two and have it as a combined video. You'll see the end result. If it's part one and part two, that means I was lazy. If it's all one video, that means I took some time and, um, <laughs> and uh, did what my friend Emma said I should do, use the video editor, which is on my computer. Anyways, uh, have a great evening, and I'll see you soon to finish uh, roasted moular duck legs and confit of chipoline onions flavored with star anise. Okay, the menu title needs some work, and I need some sleep. See you later. We'll end with the sign, or we will end with the onions. I oh, will just just end it down. End of part one.